Rockstar Games might have just leaked some info regarding their summer projects, plans, or even a GTA 6 announcement during the summertime. My name is GTA Pups here. In today's video, we are going to be explaining everything and so much more. So let's get right in to today's video. So your fans or GTA fans out there might have witnessed something about two weeks ago on one of their event weeks or maybe even on their Pacific website for GTA Plus members. You know when Rockstar has launched this, GTA Plus was supposed to be for players that pay $5.99 a month to get exclusive money offers, bonuses, cash, uh, different clothing, just for GTA Plus members only. Well, that two weeks ago, players noticed when that went live that there was actually an extension date of GTA Plus ending on the 12th. So it would be pretty much a one-week extension. And usually, Rockstar Games does not have GTA Plus end on a Monday, usually is ending on um, a Wednesday, for an example, and usually yeah, Wednesdays are the day. Now, this post was actually changed, so officially GTA Plus benefits, cash, and everything like that will be ending on June 7th. It is confirmed on the Rockstar uh, Games GTA page, their recent... Um, uh, newswire on the social club i'll show you that plus even i saw a fan reach out to rockstar support and say what is this confusion and he confirms that he looked into it and that it is ending on june 7th as well we heard from Ted's Funds 2 around this time regarding uh, everything that is going on again he said whenever we are two weeks away from gta plus end date Rockstar adds a notification that the current GTA Plus month is ending soon. This, however, wasn't added with today's tunable, suggesting an extension, hence the typo from last week. And he's regarding this after we just got a new event week that started last Thursday, but his original post was that this week marks the middle of GTA Plus month email, which sends a reminder if lacks week's date change wasn't a typo, you can expect them to extend the GTA Plus date soon. Hashtag GTA Online. And you can see this is in the coding tunables change between uh, April 20th and April 27th uh, from last month, of course. But this is the coding that Rockstar has. It says GTA Online membership event end date uh, POSIX. It's just a notification uh, saying in their newswire that, hey, there's a two weeks left for GTA Plus. But as you can see, I'm showing you proof right now that uh, Rockstar has changed that to June 7th. And it looks like June 7th is going to be the day that GTA Plus ends for the month of May. And we're going to be getting all different things for the month of June, which is kind of suspicious on how this all happened on why did this typo end up happening? Players in the community, I've been reading on the GTA forum site, has been saying this is just someone that you know, does the different stuff with the Newswire post, and they just did the typo, and it was found maybe like 15 to 20 minutes later after the uh, Newswire has been published on the Rockstar Games servers online. It was just something like that. Again, it wasn't Rockstar teasing or leaking this, that because we normally don't get a GTA Plus change on Mondays. Now, players went deeper and dived deeper into this on why we could see GTA Plus ending on the 12th, and that is because they thought that week of June 4th, which would have been GTA Plus is ending state, we would get information about the new summer DLC update. But it's weird because we don't usually get summer updates until end of July, end of August. And if that would have happened, uh, it would have been the first update since gun running that we got a early summer release or maybe even a summer uh 2023 community update 
Rockstar saying their enhancements that they've been talking about, their service quality of updates that they teased back a couple months ago when we got price changes on different vehicles, on the different vehicle sites in GTA Online, and even giving us just a little more information about the GTA 6 release. Maybe even a teaser trailer, or maybe that, hey, watch out for so-and-so month, or stay tuned, or something more than stay tuned to get ready for a GTA 6 official announcement from Rockstar. So there was different scenarios that Rockstar could approach this if that wasn't a typo, but it looks like it was. So we'll just have to keep monitoring this. And if there is any big news that you guys need to know on the channel, I'll be sure to update you guys. But something that you should need to know is that last Thursday, players noticed and Rockstar really didn't announce it, but they had a GTA Plus discount offer for one dollar again that's right you can get gta plus on the gen 9 systems for one dollar as you know gta plus is only available on the gen 9 systems and this is what it looks like on the playstation and sony store it says gta plus intro month discount offer and it's you know it talks about violence of gta online 30 players whatever but as you can see the game and legal info in the uh, bold print or the little print it said this promotion opens may 23rd which 23rd was actually last tuesday and closes on may 30th which actually is two days from now right the day after the memorial day holiday and this will be ending at 9 o'clock GMT time, which is uh, about five hours um, behind Eastern Standard Time. Again, this is a paid for ongoing subscription. You will be charged a recurring fee of $5.99, CAT $7.99 every month until you cancel the subscription. Prices subject to change. And this is not on PlayStation. Sony is actually on the Microsoft store as well. You can see what their screen actually looks like if you do want to get this for $1 on the Microsoft store. We know from the Take Two Interactive's recent earnings call that Strauss Selnick, the CEO of Take Two Interactive, said the GTA Plus is doing well. He said GTA Plus has also seen continued growth, and they say it has been a positive reception. Again, so that is coming from CEO Shaw Sonic. And I believe why Rockstar Games is doing this is because of GTA Plus doing well. And they want to probably celebrate the start of the unofficial start of summer that people that don't have GTA Plus and don't want to spend the $5.99 to maybe try it out for $1 for one month to see how it works and how it goes and how you get the money and, and et cetera. And then for talking about the month of July, then where Rockstar gets you is you would have to continue paying that $5.99 a different price. And if you wanted to cancel it, you could cancel it. So I know Rockstar didn't make an official announcement of this, but this is a true event that you only have two days to do. And I suggest you um, do buy this before it does end if you are considering uh, being a member of GTA Plus. So just one quick side note as well. I won't be uploading tomorrow on uh, Monday. The May 29th as I'm observing observing the Memorial Day holiday like a lot of people are off work but I am celebrating and won't be publishing on YouTube that day so I will see you guys next week if you did enjoy today's video like rating would be super awesome remember to subscribe to the GTA Puzzle channel for more videos like this my name is Puppy and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out